there, this is going to be a video about tricks and tips to attending art school. Um, this is, I've been in art school for about a year and a half and I feel like I've really got a good grasp on it now. Um, I'm pretty confident in classes, getting good grades and everything, um, which is definitely a big improvement from when I first started art school. I was very overwhelmed. There was a lot that I did not know and that's kind of why I wanted to make this video. Just to help you guys out, um, give you guys some tricks that have helped me succeed at art school and hopefully will help you guys as well. So let's get started. Um, the first um, tip I want to talk about is critiques. And this definitely, if you've never done it before, can be intimidating. But my advice is just, you know, try not to stress out about it as too much. Um, everyone else is going to be, you know, just as worried as you are probably about their projects. Um, also, I mean, I've never had anyone be nasty to me or anything like that, so, I mean, just kind of do your best and, um, you can get feedback, just kind of think of it as a good way to get feedback. Um, another thing that my art teacher actually told, said one time was to remember that you're not competing against other students, you're competing against yourself. So, you know, just kind of try and view it as an opportunity to just make yourself the best artist you can be. And unfortunately in art, you're going to have critiques throughout your entire career. So it's just kind of something that you have to get used to. As far as speaking up in the critiques, um, when I started art school, I was terrified to do this and I never talked, which really impacted my grades because pretty much every art class I've taken, if part of your grade is speaking up in critiques. And so if you're shy like me, that can be hard. So some tips that I have for um, speaking up would just be ask questions. Um, if you do see something that you really like, just, you know, say, speak up, say, how, how did you get the sky this way, you know? Or why did you choose this color? Why did you do this method? Um, that really shows to your instructors that you're paying attention, that you're involved, and that you want to learn. And so you don't have to necessarily give criticism right away, but that's just a great way to kind of get you talking and get you on your way to being more comfortable in critiques. Um, the next area I want to talk about, num tip number two, would be um, just working on projects. And my advice is to do the most work you can in class. My first semester, I took everything home because I was just scared of working in class, you know? And so... I took everything home and did everything outside of class and it was so much harder. Now I just utilize my studio time in class. That's really when you're going to have the best use of the equipment, you're going to have the best like workspace. So really utilize that time, it'll make it so much easier not to have to like do it on the weekends that much or anything. Also I mean there comes a point where you just kind of have to do your best. Try not to put too much. In I mean, put put too much into it, but not that, but you know, what I used to do is I used to um, just go over everything time and time again, and it got so time consuming, and it's just this like, you know, is this right, is this right, is this right for critiques, and there comes a point where, you know, just do your best, um, and you will learn, you know, it's not going to be perfect, and as you keep advancing in art school, it, you'll get better, so... Part of it is just trial and error, so, you know, don't spend, you know, every waking moment obsessing about it, just you kind of just try and learn to let it go. Um, as well as with projects like that, don't procrastinate because those will really come back to haunt you. So yeah, in class, don't procrastinate and don't kind of obsess about it would be number two. Um, number three is supplies and books. Um, I always suggest to... Um, wait on your getting your supplies and your books until at least after the first class. Um, I've been in classes where the first day this, the teacher will be like, oh, this book was optional, you don't even have to have it. Or I'll have classes where they'll assign a book, but you really never use it. And it's just kind of additional optional reading pretty much. So definitely wait on that. As well as supplies, I my first semester of art school, I got huge lists of supplies for, you know, my studio classes. I went out and bought everything the first day. We did not end up using half of it in the class. So what I would recommend is just going project to project to project and buy your supplies, you know, one or two projects at a time. Um, that way you're not buying anything that you don't need. 
Also, you know, make sure you're saving your extra art supplies because you could probably use those down the road. Um, number three, um, or three or four, I forget, would be um, lockers. Um, my school, I don't know if every school does this, but it's a good thing to investigate is if my school, if, you, if you're in two art studio classes, they will give you a free locker and all you have to do is put a lock on it and that has been a tremendous help because I don't have to lug everything on the bus every day. I don't have to, you know, be carrying it across campus, carry it around with me all day. So, um, you know, and I can kind of just take home what I need, but I don't have to be taking everything home. So definitely investigate that if you haven't. I don't know if all schools do it, but mine does and that's been a huge help. Um, as well, you know, make sure you're carrying a solid backpack around. I've actually done a previous video on just some organization tips and stuff like that, but make sure um, you just have extra supplies, extra pens, pencils, um, you know, make sure you're carrying scissors and just all the things that you'll need. Make sure you have those all the time. Even if you don't think you may or may not need them for the day, just bring it. And um, yeah, you can check out that video for more tips on that. Um, the next tip I want to move on to is researching and keeping a sketchbook for projects. Um, what I always do when I get a project is I kind of type in the requirements into Google and I research. You know, I see what other artists have done, what they worked on. <coughs> Sorry. And um, that really gives me a lot of inspiration. This does not mean, you know, copying exactly another person's work. This just means getting inspiration, and that's been a huge help for me. As well, just keeping a sketchbook of your thoughts and, you know, kind of sketching out, okay, this is where I want to start with. Oh, let me, I, let me draw this. Oh, you know what? That doesn't look right. Let's draw it again. Let's draw it again. And just kind of keep editing before, or even like you can actually make like little maquettes or just like little cardboard sculptures of an idea or anything like that. But just, it really, really helps to do that beforehand instead of just jumping into a project and, you know, may or may not having it work out. It's definitely great to just plan ahead of time. So even if your teachers don't, you know, require that, I would definitely recommend that. It really helps for me. Um, the next tip I have is really quick is just um I've learned it always pays to make your projects really meaningful and you are gonna have to take classes in art school unfortunately that are not exactly your emphasis I'm a photography major and I've had to take sculpture classes drawing classes 2d design classes and painting classes you know just for me but um, no matter why just make sure you know you make it something that you enjoy and that is meaningful and has a message um, and that really s makes a statement um, it's something that I just learned really brings your work from just being moderate to really making a statement and being very effective and it also will make you want to work on it more <coughs> so that would be my tip as well as just with the other classes um, I know it's not exactly what you want to do, and I wasn't thrilled about it either, but I've really enjoyed it. Um, it really has, as my boyfriend says, opens up your mind to thinking artistically, which is what you need. So just keep that in mind. Um, very last tip is talking to instructors. This is the thing I had the hardest time with, because if you're in art school, you will know that teachers typically come around and check how you're doing on your projects. And so... Um, for me, some tips I have with this is just be prepared, make sure you have your sketchbook ready, you have examples ready, so then you can just really accurately and professionally say, this is what I'm thinking of, these are some artists I've looked at, and then they can give you tips back. Um, it will get easier with time. Um, this was just for me, I was terrified of this, I hated talking to my instructors, and now it's really not that big of a deal. So it will come, just you know, make sure you're prepared for it and you've kind of planned in advance some issues you want to talk about or anything like that, and that'll really help. So those are kind of my tips for you guys. I hope this helps you out and helps you succeed in art school. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.